Fallout 209 here, and uh, I was chatting with K9 over there on Instagram. He sent me some pictures, interesting pictures, no less, uh, and it's about Glock. So, Mr. Guns and Gear, and there's been a couple of other YouTubers that have talked about this already. Uh, Mr. Guns and Gear's video is really in-depth about Glock and the patents that they hold uh, the of parts for AR-15 platform, and uh, there's leaked pictures. I'll, I'll put the pictures up here. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. He's talking about that there's some kind of trial going on for a new kind of uh, a firearm for, for the British Army, I believe it is. And these p pictures may have been leaked out of the trials because uh, I guess there's a couple of rifles that are up against uh, Glock going for uh, the, the contract, maybe. Maybe, possibly. Again, this is just hearsay, and these are just pictures. I mean, could be some dude with a jig, <laughs> you know, putting a Glock symbol on his on his on his rifle. We don't know. Uh, but we, we've talked about Glock making a rifle for, for so long. Uh, if you remember, uh, uh, just, you know, I think it was last year they talked about maybe getting into the rifle game. Uh, they've never made one. They've they've prepped it. They've looked at it, but they've never made it. Uh, whether this is going to happen or not, I don't know. Uh, but it's very intriguing. Would it be a good idea for Glock to do this? I think it would be. Uh, if you haven't noticed some of the YouTubers you watch, uh, they're going to SHOT Show. I I'm going hunting. Uh, so they're going to SHOT Show, and what better time to kind of release this? Since SHOT Show was canceled uh, during the COOF, what better chance to release huge information like this but at SHOT Show? I think this would really boost Glock. Uh, they've, I think they've been kind of slow in the market of some of the handguns they put out. Uh, the, GX, uh, the GX4 from Taurus, the midsize one now, the X-Carry or whatever they call that, uh, that's a popular gun. You have SIG with the macro. Then you had the Hellcat Pro. Uh, I mean, you're seeing a lot of these Micro 9 companies. Uh, Ruger came out with their Max 9. Uh, so the the 9mm Micro has been really the, the spot-on target for a lot of people for conceal and carry. Uh, and there's been a couple of interesting rifles. Uh, Ruger, you know, I believe it was Ruger that came out with the 5.7. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, but... Me, I don't, I don't see any kind of, you know, temptation to buy that gun. Uh, and again, ARs are ARs, but looking at this one, this one looks to be a suppressor host. Suppressors are really getting really popular in society. Uh, at this point, they should just take them off the NFA. Uh, it's not what Hollywood portrays in their movies. Uh, it, it cuts down on noise pollution. It cuts down on hearing loss from firearms, especially for the military. Um, they're just, they're a good idea, but they're always demonized in, in one form or fashion, just like the AR-15 platform is. Again, uh, I think this would be perfect for Glock. You know, SHOT Show was canceled. Now they're, now SHOT Show's coming back and you roll out, boom, spotlight. This would really boost the brand of Glock. I mean, Glock's very, is the most popular brand out there in gun culture. Everybody talks about Glocks, whether they hate them or like them, the fanboys and the people that crap on those fanboys. So there's a lot of, there's a lot, uh, tossing, uh, about, uh, Glock in situations. Me, I carry a Glock. 26 i've had a 19 i own a 43 uh they've worked for me for the most part i've kind of had to beat them into submission and have them run uh good but it's just a brand new gun to break them in a little bit uh but i've never really actually had a a huge problem with them uh after after you know putting a lot of rounds through them so they're a good gun uh they're proprietary man everybody should have one at least in your collection even if you don't like them just like a 1911 again i'll roll in some pictures of this gun now these are leaked pictures i guess uh from somebody in maybe that's using these guns in the trial or something of that nature Again, i don't know if this stuff is true uh we've been trying to hear about this and hear about this and hear about this for you know months and months uh back when uh you know kind of like schematics were kind of thrown out in, into the, the populace to see what the buzz was about. Now, they're, if they're actually physically making these guns, uh, that will be a game changer. It looks good. Again, it's a suppressor host. Uh, it's got a lot of M-Lock on it. 
Uh, it looks pretty good. A lot, of, a lot of Magpul furniture on it. That's what you see on ARs uh, these days. Uh, so there's some features on there. Again, Mr. Guns and Gears video really goes through the uh, the patenting and the designing of some kind of rifle that Glock is interested in making, whether it's this rifle or there's some tweaks to it. We'll have to wait and see. Again, you know, we have legislation to deal with. Uh, you know, unfortunately, we're, we're settled with a an administration that's anti-gun, and both houses are filled with anti-gun people. Uh, buzz is buzz. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, you know, 762 by 39 is going to start dwindling off the shelves as these patent or these importation uh, 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 contracts start to expire, and that stuff's going to start to creep uh, back into that high volume. Uh, of price, uh, you know what I'm saying, you know, price points uh, in the next few years. That's just what we have to deal with. Uh, Glock does make a couple of, uh, I believe, firearms here in the United States. Importation is something that there's a lot of administrations that try and stifle it. Let's just put it that way. And, it, and it's just been like that. So we'll have to wait and see uh, what these people are going to say about stuff. Uh, if you haven't noticed, Smith & Wesson is, is currently uh, enraveled in a lawsuit uh, for uh, uh, the killing uh, that happened at that school. Uh, Remington was broken apart and pieced out. And then you have uh, people speculating about Daniel Defense. So, being sued for the tragedy. Uh, so, I mean, I, down there in Texas. So, there's a lot of things you have to look at, man. I mean, is this going to jumpstart gun culture? Yes, man. This, this is a huge, a huge uh, telltale sign that, you know, Glock's going to have to start being innovative. And they're going to have to stop, you know, oh, here's a Glock with serrations. It's the new gen. They're going to have to stop with that. Uh, to, to continue to be relevant. Glocks are always going to be uh, somewhat relevant, but so many more companies are making, I believe, better guns than Glock right now, uh, better features than Glock right now. They're going to have to step up their game and uh, maybe recoup a little bit because I've seen people shy away from Glock and buy a SIG. I've seen people, you know, go to that lower level and buy a, some of these new Taurus, the GX the GX4 line of Taurus guns. And then you have, again, Canik. You have SAR coming through. And then EA. So you have a lot of these companies that re are really taking strides and steps to be a part of the handgun market. And they might have to kind of flow into making a rifle at some point in time. You know there's been a lot of talk that, you know, Gaston doesn't want to make one. Uh, so on and so forth, but I mean, you're going to have to stay relevant and you're going to have to start finding a different um, uh, revenue source. And AR-15s are very popular, especially here in the United States. Uh, of course, they're always demonized, but I mean, if they start looking at statistics for other things, mm, uh, um, they might have a different perspective uh, on some of the things that they say. But uh, in general, I'll show the pictures again. Is it cool? I think it's cool. It's a suppressor host. Uh, it's got M-Lock on it. Um, it. It's optic. You can put an optic on there. You know, you, you're really getting into there. We're, we're, you know, there, there's a lot of guns in my in my gun case at work. Hey, man, let's get away from the clamshell stuff. <laughs> All right? You know, Smith & Wesson. Uh, so there's a lot of other people that are really, uh, you know, taking big strides in not only the pistol market, but also the AR-15 market and rifles in general. Uh, so hopefully this will turn the tide. What, is it good? Yeah, this will spin a, a bunch of uh, a buzz, especially leading into SHOT Show. And then you have the NRA show coming up uh, here in my home state in Indiana again. Uh, so we'll, hopefully if there's some talk about it. But again, is this going to be released to the civilian market? Uh, that's the thing. Don't know. Don't know. Don't even know if these pictures are, are are genuine or not. Could be some guy with a jig, you know what I'm saying, putting Glock on his receiver. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know. Uh, so go look at Mr. Guns and Gears video. That's kind of convincing there. Uh, again, creating buzz sells products and 
you know, Glock's been kind of catching up to everybody else in, in some in some portions of the market. So this will probably create a huge buzz for them, uh, and they'll get boosted up back there where the Glock fanboys are happy and the Glock haters aren't. <laughs> you know me, I don't care. I own a couple of Glocks, a couple of issues with them, but it, they seem to have been ironed out. So I don't have a problem with those guns. I carry a Glock 26. So uh, this is a this is pretty cool. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so go search that stuff. There's a ton of more information out there. But again, uh, there's a lot of hurdles to jump uh, in, in society uh, with legislation and what it's going to look like the next year. Uh, because I don't see this coming out anytime soon. Uh, especially I hope they don't do like what SIG does. And SIG you know, rushes a lot of things to market. And then you and I are the testers of them to see if they're going to be great or not. Hopefully they take this time on this. Uh, maybe, you know, uh, you know, really secure that contract if they are, you know, making uh, these guns for the British Army. Secure that contract and then talk about the civilian market. Uh, you know, the first people that are going to get a crack at this is law enforcement. So we'll have to see what they come out with. So... There's some information for you. Go research it for yourself. Uh, don't take my word for it. Again, I don't know if this is true or not. These are leaked photos, uh, but it's exciting nonetheless. I'd like to thank my old and my new subscribers and just the people that zip through. Greatly do appreciate it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do that for everybody you watch on YouTube, including myself. And like always, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.